Did you know that the Disney Pixar movie Coco was based on the Day of the Dead, which is a holiday famously celebrated in Mexico? If you've seen the movie Coco, then you know that it is a very emotional one. But apart from it being emotional, the movie also sends a beautiful message about the importance of family and the significance of staying connected even after death. Just like the movie depicted, the Day of the Dead is a celebration of loved ones and it's the one holiday dedicated to families coming together to celebrate, honor, remember, and give to the dead. The movie Coco gives proper recognition to the many traditions and events that happen during the Day of the Dead in real life. Although it is an animated movie, the message and traditions are very real. Even though the movie is set in Guanajuato, Mexico, we will be talking about what the Day of the Dead is, the traditions that take place during the Day of the Dead, the food, the decorations, and the cost to travel to Mexico in general in November, when all of the celebrations of the Day of the Dead take place. When it comes to Day of the Dead, there are many traditions that the families and friends who have come together to honor their loved ones have. Day of the Dead traditions include food and flowers, visits with family members, prayers, and stories about those who have died. Let's go a little more into depth on what these traditions look like. Constructing altars. The construction of altars is the principal custom of this celebration. Often decorated in vibrant oranges and purples before being piled high with different offerings, these altars are generally more private events that are built at home. However, in many communities, families construct them right at the graveside of the deceased, and nowadays are also prepared by most public buildings. The planning of these altars can take months, but the end results are much worth it. Offerings. A big part of this celebration is offerings. These offerings get brought to the individualized altars designed to remember departed loved ones. These offerings often include photos, possessions of that certain loved one, candles, flowers, and toys. Small portions of favorite food and drinks of that person are also included. Marigolds. One tradition that continues today is decorating the altars with marigold flowers. The vibrant colors and scent are thought to guide the spirits to visit the living during the celebration. They are also a beautiful representation of the fragility of life. The children often make these flowers out of tissue paper and pipe cleaners to help decorate the altars. Sugar schools. Another tradition are sugar schools made out of compressed sugar and water with the name of the person written on the forehead. A reminder of the cycles of life, these sugar schools are colorful folk art schools decorated with color, foil, icing, beads, ribbons, and feathers. Regional traditions. In some places, bells ring from midnight on November 1st through November 3rd, with the sounds of the bells varying in tone. Light tone bells welcome the souls of the deceased children, and deeper tones sound for adult spirits. Some people may also build small welcoming fires to guide visiting spirits through open doors and windows. In other regions, people may leave out blankets and pillows for visiting spirits to rest or include a wash basin, soap, and mirrors. Some areas feature special dances for the occasion. Graveside Vigils Although many people choose to stay at home on this night, holding graveside vigils is still common in many Mexican communities and is most definitely of the celebration's most important rituals. Graveside Cleaning and Decorating even though not all families choose to honor their loved ones at the graveside itself, the tradition of cleaning the grave is still respected by most. This usually includes tidying the area surrounding the headstone, but being sure to leave behind the previous flowers that were brought to the grave in the past. A complete altar is often constructed there too. Taking part in the Katrina Parade. Even though this specific tradition applies to Mexico City, 
other locations often hold their own versions of this special event. Each year, hundreds of people dress up as Katrinas and walk to a public square to take part in the Katrina Parade. The people who attend paint their faces in the typical style of the Katrina School, which has colorful accents around the eyes and cheeks, and dressed in outfits appropriate for the occasion. These and other traditions are an important way of keeping families strong as they're remembering an ancestors and their stories. I love food. Who doesn't love food? Although on this particular day, Day of the Dead, food brings comfort, food brings the family together, and food brings joy. As on this day, on November 1st, they gather around as a family. Some come from out of state to Mexico just to celebrate this day. As they celebrate this day, they gather around to prepare the most comforting foods or the foods their loved ones enjoyed while they were alive. As they prepare these foods, they gather around and they reminisce about the good times and cherish those memories as they are no longer with them. One of, well, some of the popular foods they make are pan, which is a Mexican bread. They make Mexican hot chocolate. They make tamales. <clears throat> also, I believe they make menudo. As they make all these great foods, they also make desserts as well. They make skeleton desserts, skull desserts, colorful desserts. And sometimes it doesn't get eaten, but that's okay because they're doing it for their loved ones. As they prepare all these beautiful foods, they eat it together as they believe that their loved one is enjoying it with them in spirit. As Tora Hagen mentioned in her website, the foods are important because these dishes and items were symbolic of the spirit survival and its journey to the afterlife. Wow, who would have known? As I did all this research on the food and everything it holds, it made me think, why not celebrate? Every time we think of death, we think of sadness. And we can go to Mexico to celebrate <clears throat> their life instead of mourning. Thinking about the happy times instead of crying because they aren't here anymore. So like how you have heard us mention throughout this video, we are talking about Mexico, specifically the Day of the Dead. So now I would like to discuss with you the culture around it as well as my first hand experience with Mexican culture culture in general. So the Day of the Dead is said to have roots that date back up back up to three thousand years ago and it was thought that after passing away a person's soul would go to Chicunamiclan, which is the land of the dead. There was said to be nine difficult stages in which a person's soul had to journey through before reaching its final resting place so this would basically then have the family come together to provide tools water food and other necessary items that they believe will help aid the soul in its journey so however it is now celebrated as a time where the border between the spirit world and a the physical world dissolves so in this during this pre period the souls of the dead are awakened and return to the living world to feast drink and dance and play music with their loved ones as we can see is stated in the article called the day of the dead by the on the history.com site which leads me to talk about the mexican my first hand experience with mexican culture in general so i would describe the culture as very vibrant bright colorful as well as um very rich so the mexican culture really revolve around family and religion so 
a lot of the times um, religion will play a huge role in um, holidays and we can see this um, during Christmas time, especially during Christmas time. So unlike us in the United States who celebrate Christmas with the belief of Santa Claus who brings us our gifts, in Mexico they believe in El Niño Dios which is um, the Son of God and they believe that he is who brings us who brings them their gifts so um, another example would be El Dia de los Tres Reyes Magos which is a holiday um, typically celebrated January 6th to celebrate um, the three wise kings who came to visit baby Jesus so during this time between December and January Posadas are held, so posadas are basically these gatherings where people and families would come together and they retell the story of baby Jesus by holding reenactments, even praying sometimes, and during these events, um, there there's dancing, singing, eating of traditional foods such as tamales and champurrado, which is a typical Spanish drink. Um, there's also piñatas and even sometimes goodie bags, bags that are given to the children. So I hope that this goes to show how diverse and diverse and how the culture um, is very like revolved around family. So if you and your family really want to go celebrate like with each other like and focus on um being surrounded by one another i would really suggest going to mexico after learning about one of mexico's most important holidays you might be wondering what the cost a travel would be during this time of year so like how you heard um jessica state in the beginning of the video she brings up guanajuato so now i will be telling you about the travel cost to guanajuato during this time of year for two adult travelers staying in downtown Guanajuato, the price would be $1,486 and this includes the flight tickets as well as a hotel booking from November 1st through the 6th. But since we are talking about a holiday which brings families close to, closer together, what would the cost be for a family of five? So for a family of five, two adults, three children, the cost of travel would be three thousand and eighty four dollars so to obviously there is a price difference but that's depending on how many people are going and who you're going with um when it comes to food there are many options so one option would be like the street vendors which typically um the prices are much lower than a typical restaurant over there so depending on how much you want to spend if you want to spend more go to a restaurant if you want to save money and not spend as much go to street vendors and so the mid-range cost of what you might spend in a week ranges from a hundred dollars or less maybe even a hundred dollars more and that like i said depends on what type of restaurants or street vendors you're going to because the prices fluctuate so as you're traveling to Guanajuato, you will experience and see firsthand the beautiful decorations, songs, cultural dancing, and food. So it definitely, it, it's going to be a beautiful scene with, with all its lush culture. But you might be wondering about some other things you might be able to do in Guanajuato, Mexico. So some other things that you guys might be interested in while visiting there would be the Museum of the Mummies, which is a museum of mummies. And there you will learn about the preservation of mummies as well as the stories behind some of them. And if you're traveling with a significant other, um, another option that you might be interested in would be El Cañejón del Beso, which is like an alleyway where typically couples go and the, they're, they learn about the story about um these unfortunate lovers as well as there's a superstition behind it uh, if you and your significant other go you will have 15 years of happiness so which brings us to our conclusion 
I hope now that learning about the cost of travel, you might consider traveling um, to Guanajuato, Mexico. And I hope that learning more about the other um, things that you can go over there. Um, convinces you more. <laughs> The Day of the Dead is rightfully a significant holiday to many people and Mexico. The celebrations, food, and culture all play a big part in why it's so popular. The movie Coco does a great job at showing all the different aspects that go into the celebration. Just as the movie relays the message of how important family is, an experience article called Celebrating Life on the Day of the Dead in Mexico says Day of the Dead emphasizes remembrance of past lives and expresses the celebration of the continuity of life. All around, the Day of the Dead is a holiday that reunites us with our deceased loved ones. And it's what makes Mexico during this time very beautiful. This holiday also allows you to celebrate family, so taking a trip there is worth it. Day of the Dead is actually coming up next month, so maybe you should consider taking that vacation.